Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the statistics solution. Today I will explain you how you can solve the questions related to the Markov chains. Question ID is 7041 from the part B. I will explain you this question with the help of the fully shortcut tricks. Myself Dr. Harish Kar, you can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel and if you are the part of the statistics students, you can follow my this playlist PY question of the statistics CSR net and the gate. You can see the the last lecture was on the part C Markov chains. Apart from them, you can also see the complete shortcut tricks how you can solve the various topics problem in a easy manner. You can follow and subscribe my this playlist. Now, if you first of all, whenever you are the, in the examination hold, remember you have the maximum one minute time periods. And in this one minute time periods, devote the 15 second to read the statement carefully. Read the statement. In the examination question paper, all the questions are either true or false type. Fine. They are arranged in a C in such a way that the three fourth of the times of the question with the answer true is followed with the answer true. That means if three by four is a probability that if answer is true, it is followed by true. What is the meaning of that? Okay, firstly read the statement and then I will explain you. Also, two third of the times the question with the answer false, with the answer false followed by false. Fine. If the question papers has 100 marks, 100 questions, then find the approximate probability that the correct answer of the 100th question is true. Okay, fine. You have the 100 question in the paper and your target is to find that this one will be my true. Now, can you think about that this problem is related to the Markov chain? If yes, how? Let me know in the comment box how. And then, and then I will tell you and then you can realize it. What does the meaning of this scenario? What is the meaning of that 3 by 4 is the probability? that if the previous what is the meaning of the followed by what is the meaning of this line what is the meaning of this line is that means if the previous question answer is true then the next question is also true that what is the probability is 3 by 4 that means this is related to the previous and then the next so what is the concept behind the previous and the next that is always taken about the Markov chain. That means your target is to construct the transition probability matrix of 2 cross 2. Fine. And what is the probability of the true followed by true? The probability is my 3 by 4. And 2 by 3 is the probability of taking false followed by the false. Is it okay? Now can you complete this value? So this value will be 1 by 4. So that the sum will be 1. This number is my 1 over 3, so that the sum will be 1. So your target is to find the probability of the true of the 100th quotient. So if I called 100th quotient. So what does it signify is that? What about the first question? What about the second question? We never know, but that is nothing but the stationary probability. Is it okay? Is the stationary probability. Why? Because the time period that is a 100th quotient is a very large number. Fine. So how you can find the stationary probability? For that, if you already watch my Markov chain lecture, this lecture Markov chain, PY questions complete series, then you can analyze that how you can solve the 2 cross 2. Let me give you the shortcut tricks A, B, C and D. Fine. How you can find the stationary probability directly? If I state 1, state 2, then for the state 1, the steady state probability will be C over B plus C. And for the steady state 2, it will be B over C plus B. That's the answer of this problem. Fine. Now, if you look about this case, can you find the stationary probability of the true and the stationary probability of the false? The stationary probability will be 1 over 3 divided by the sum of the off diagonal elements. It is my 7 over 12. So what is the answer of this case is? It is a 12. That's a 4 over 
7. If it is a 4 over 7, the sum will be 1. It must be 3 over 7. So I need the answer of the 2. So the answer is 4 over 7 is the right answer of this problem. So that's the answer of this problem. You can see in your examination, you just need to write only these two lines and how many seconds you are needed to line write these questions. Maximum, maximum, maximum one minutes you can like it. Fine. Or a key minute lagega, you can put a like and comment on this video. Let me know whether you are interested to learn more such kind of the problems. If you are liking that, I will upload the next video on the complete statistics solution of the part B. But before that, you have to like and comment on the video and let me know in the comment box whether you are interested to watch this video or not. Then only I will upload it very soon. I hope you can share this video with your friends. Happy learning always and thanks for the watching.